In this video, we're going to be having some fun with the Miano lathe. This here is the very first test part that I ever made on this machine. Uh, well, this was like the third one, but I had to dial in the surface finishes to, so I could show it to you because the first one was not so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 3 8 collet for the 3 8 brass rod we're going to be running. Basically, we're just going to run this rod. I'm, I'm only going to test the threading cycle and the parting cycle and I'm just getting everything ready here getting the spindle liner set up that goes in the back of the machine so the material doesn't bang around all over the place and here I'm homing all the axes the X Z and B and the B is for the twin turret once all the axes are homed then I cycle the turret and that just completes the homing cycle Here I'm just taking out the 5 8 collet and I'm going to replace with that 3 8 collet that I just got out. These are a Hardinge S15 collet pads. Uh, they're really easy to use and to change in and out for the different sizes of material that you run through there. Here I am replacing the spindle liner, the 5 8 spindle liner, with the 3 8 spindle liner. And there's a little dot on the back that you take out and then you just put the new one in. And now I'm putting in the brass rod. So now I have to get some tool offsets for some of the tools that I have in the turret. So basically I just turn the spindle on and run the tool into the piece of material and then I measure wherever I cut off. And then I tell the control measure X at this diameter. And that gives me the offset in the X direction for that specific tool. Being sure not to move that tool away in the X direction. And now I have to get the Z offsets. I just run the tool up to the piece of material and use a piece of paper to gauge kind of where it's at. And I do this for every single tool. Then I put in the controller, measure Z at zero because that's where I programmed it at. And this is the part that we're going to be making here. It's just 3 8 rod and then 3 8 16 thread, and that's it. And you'll soon find out that there's way too much stick out on this because it bends a lot. So keep a close eye on that. To send this monster a program, I have to do it over the parallel port cable that is right in the face of the machine. And I plug the USB port right into my computer and I have this program called DNC4U and it works like a charm. Since all my program names are the 01001 from Fusion, uh, you gotta make sure to delete that out of your machine before you put the new one in or you'll get an alarm that says you can't do it. So I'm sure you saw that flexing going on there when it was doing the threading cycle. Also, I have a parts catcher, but I didn't realize it's literally just a checkbox in the Fusion program to use it, and I just, I'm just an idiot. Anyway, there's the threads. It doesn't look terrible, but it's not crisp like this one is. I just did this one with very little stick out, 
and it looks much better. I mean, you can see it there how much more crisp it is. And uh, the larger one, the threads didn't even work. They were too large, not cut deep enough. And that little brass dowel looking thing there was just a test. I, I cut it at quarter inch. I just wanted to see how close I could get it to quarter inch. And it was like a half a thousandths off. It was it was awesome. I couldn't believe it. But uh, those were all just tests, and I'm, I'm glad everything went well. And I think that's it for now, so we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.